Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and welcome to the channel and today we're learning how to add 3D text behind the subject within Photoshop in very quick and very easiest way. So without any further ado, let's focus on the screen. Alright guys, so this is the image we are working on and we have to put the 3D text be behind this subject. First of all, we need to select the subject. So let's go to the select and under the select, let's click on subject. Now Photoshop will detect the subject and will make the selection. See. Now we can just separate it out from the background image by pressing Ctrl plus J on the keyboard like this, right? And if we zoom a little, we can see it is not a very precise selection, but this is just an example. So let's move on. Let's type something now. I have written 3D text. Let me just keep the text behind the subject layer. Okay. Now uh, make sure your text layer is selected and let's go to the 3D. And under the 3D, click on new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Okay. As you click on it, in few seconds, the new user interface will open. That is a 3D user interface and under which we can just uh, position the 3D text by using these three tools right here. Right. So once you position them, you can now hide all the layers apart from this 3D layer. Okay, and now is the time to render it out. So let's go to the 3D again. Click on render 3D layer. Okay, as you click on render 3D layer, it's gonna take a little time because uh, it's gonna render it out the final output. So once the render is done, now you can just press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all and go to the edit and click on copy must. Okay, and uh, let's uh, unhide all the layers. And uh, once you make the copy of it, and now is the time to paste it by pressing Ctrl plus V on the keyboard like this and hide this 3D text, uh, 3D layer, right? In uh, in middle of this process, if you, you feel like uh, the selection is not good and uh, in that case, what you can do is you can just select the subject like that, click on the text layer, okay? And now you go to the layer and under the layer mask, click on hide selection, okay? Once you click on hide selection, now you can, uh, you, by using the brush tool, you can just uh, remove the unwanted part of this subject. For example, you can see I am able to remove it. As I said, this is just an example, so I'm not going very precise. Now let's continue. Now is the time to match the color of the text with the image color. And uh, we also need to put the shadow of the subject on the text. So first of all, let's change the color. Let's go here and click on uh, color balance and let's change it to little, little blue. Okay. And I forgot to make it a clip mask. So let's do it by pressing Alt on the keyboard and like this. Okay. So we can see, let me tweak it more. Okay. So we can see it can, uh, it is matching with the image color. And you can take your time. I'm just telling you just an example. You can take your time and make it more precise. Okay. Now, now we need to make the shadow. So first of all, let's unhide this and uh, select it by uh, holding key, uh, control on the keyboard and pressing control on this image. We can select this like this. And now we need to, first of all, let's take the color from the text of the shadow and fill it by pressing alt backspace. Okay, now let's clip it mask with the text layer. Okay, once you do that, now let me just lock other layers so that I don't move them accidentally like this. Okay, now let me just press Ctrl T to transform it. Okay, now we can adjust it by pressing Ctrl, by holding Ctrl and moving the transform points like this we can see the direction of the shadow is like that now i can just decrease the opacity around uh, uh, 10 percent maybe 9 10 10 is fine okay this is how you can put the 3d text uh, within any of the image and make it realistic and you can sky is the limit guys so you can experiment with it so these were the basics and if you have any further more queries let me know in the comments Till then, stay safe, be creative. Bye.